Our most recent study was looking at the uh, movement of a species of very primitive fish called skates. So skates are pretty remarkable because they can actually use their pelvic fins to generate a walking-like behavior on the seafloor. We thought by comparing the genetic programs that enable walking and skate to what we know is important in humans and in mice, uh, this will provide some basic insights into how the neural circuits that control walking are put together or wired up developmentally. So one of the surprising things of our study is that it shows that the neural circuits that control uh, limb movement actually originated in very primitive fish. And I, I think this tends to go against the idea that walking behaviors evolved as vertebrates transition from uh, aquatic environments to land environments. And so this suggests that the circuitry for walking actually originated in a, in a very ancient uh, fish species, probably tens of millions of years before the first vertebrate walked on land. So going forward, one of our main interests is to try to figure out how the neurons that control limb muscles or fin muscles are connected with other neurons in the circuitry and how those types of connections may control distinct types of behaviors such as walking or swimming. And this is important because in diseases of the spinal cord such as spinal cord injury or degenerative motor neuron diseases, we still don't have a really good idea of the principles by which those circuits are normally put together and what happens during uh, their dysfunction. And so by studying the, these circuits in this relatively simple uh, model organism, we hope we can gain some insights into the principles through which these circuits are wired uh, up during development.